okay, I thought of the funniest prim to do. So I'm gonna label this sex toys and I'm going to make my dad carry it and see if he notices. This is not, in fact, full of sex toys. Nice. Okay, so it is our first night back. Okay. <laughs> it's our first night back to Waco and it is time to start packing or cleaning out or something. I'm, it's crazy. So let me show you the closet. This is the current state that we're in. Hello. She's pulling all the things that she doesn't want anymore. You can tell she's got a lot of clothes. And this is- I all have a clothing shop, okay? I am supposed to have a lot. We are approximately- Three and a half days out. Three and a half days out, and we have this much stuff packed, so. Yay! Hey, how's it going? Five bags of clothes for Bailey. All of her bins and stuff. Bathroom is basically completely done. And this is just one of four rooms to go. We have yours partially done. Yeah, mine's almost there. And mine's basically done, uh, aside from stripping the bed and getting the hangers out. Which will all have to happen probably the, the day, the last day. We decided we were moving out on Friday yesterday, so it's day two. And we have two more days before we have to be out of well, here. Well, that's three more nights, so I don't want to strip the bed yet. <laughs> okay, you guys. The day of packing. We've got bins, boxes. We haven't started in the kitchen and area yet, or the living room for that matter. But what we have succeeded in doing is packing up my whole room. We've got empty bathroom and empty closet, aside from my bins. And y'all wanna know the worst part? I have a final at nine in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, that's the bummer part about doing this during finals and then the week of graduation is we're also in the process of having family come down. He's taking final exams. We're trying to say goodbye to all of our friends. Needless to say, we're pretty tired, so that's a wrap for day two. Let's see how much done, how much stuff we can get done tomorrow. Looks like we're not the only ones who are tired though. Bobby Jack Jack, are you tired, really girl? Are you sleepy too? Are you sleepy? Oh yes, she's tired. Mm. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs> That's a little bit of a mess in here. But we're making progress. Oh, now we've got all that packed up, all of that packed up, things taken off the wall, at least over here. Almost packed up, so we really just have mostly kitchen. This furniture won't move because uh, I'm not strong enough to move it, so we're gonna have to wait, obviously, to move it down into the truck. That is our update that we have for you, and once again, tired puppies. Ay ay ay. I'd like to think that we've done the hard part, but. But the worst part about this is, is that we know for a fact we're gonna be moving again in like anywhere from nine months. Yeah, six months to a year. We're gonna have to do Which this. is gonna be what? Move number? Three in a year and a half. Three in a year and a half. Yeah, and then we never have to move for like years. Currently, trying to pack 
up the kitchen. It's a little tricky because everything in the kitchen, I feel like is fragile. Or we have a lot of stuff that's really fragile and I'm just having a hard time figuring out how to pack it up. Right now I'm wrapping everything in blankets because I don't have like fancy stuff. We just decided this three days ago. And also paper's kind of wasteful. So I'm trying to do like blankets and stuff, but like literally this whole cabinet, it's just glass. This is just miscellaneous, miscellaneous tools. That's just one cabinet of, of all. Why does the kitchen seem so daunting? So we've been in here for like an hour and we barely made any progress. All the countertop decor and stuff is mostly gone. Mostly. And we have like four drawers and a couple cabinets that are empty. <laughs> There's just so much stuff in the kitchen. How you doing all the way up there, huh? Doing okay? I'm hungry. <laughs> Best part about it is we have to make dinner and we just basically packed up almost all of our kitchen stuff. We left these out because we need them to cook. Big yikes. Surrounded by sea and fence. At least Ace has got the motivation to keep going. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Okay, nothing for free, but um, I did accidentally cut myself. So that's injury number one. Hopefully no more. And a bruise on my arm. And a bruise. We got two. Okay, doing okay. Yeah, okay. All right, a much needed dinner break. Got my bowl over there. Got the pasta. Asa made it for us. Doesn't it look so good? Yum. Yes, yes it does. Good morning, you guys. So this is day, one more day. I'm going countdown backwards. We have one more day and then tomorrow we move. He literally walks the stage tomorrow morning. I'm trying to put everything out here so that it's easy for people to grab and go. That's it. So we just went to lunch with some friends to say goodbye. What's funny is they're actually moving to Dallas too though, so we'll end up seeing each other again. But now we're running errands. We just dropped off our Wi-Fi box from our apartment. So no Wi-Fi for the night. So no, no we Wi-Fi. Survive. We're dropping some stuff off at the donation center. And we have to go back and clean, huh? Then we got lots and lots and lots of cleaning to do. So we were cleaning the bathroom and I opened up the bottom cabinet to uh, vacuum it and realized that somebody completely forgot to put away an entire cabinet. So I just had to move all of my clothes that were in here into a bag so we could make space for another box because we're pretty much completely out of boxes. But uh, it does look good in here. It smells good. Yeah. <laughs> So it's bathroom cleaning time. Hey, Bailey actually loves bathroom cleaning and I don't, so that's why she's the one doing it. Otherwise, I'm usually pretty helpful, but I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I've been vacuuming the house, so. Yes, he has been. Also, my cleaning check out our, our time lapse going on over there. Fancy schmancy. Fancy. On the paper towels. <laughs> We're moving and grooving. We got people packing up the van over there, trying to work on loading it up, going through an, an assembly line, looks like, sort of by. And they've already, it's been like five minutes, and the inside of the apartment is already very empty. Now, my Joe says, then we have to make flight more. That is a true statement. True statement. This little girl keeps running she's outside. Right now. She's on timeout, but Auntie Brooke. Are you on timeout? Yes. They're moving the big boy. Watch out, Dad. That's yeah, one of the big ones. You guys got it. Woohoo! <laughs> so we got this room still to go and this room still to go, but this is emptying out real quick. Okay, I thought of the funniest prank to do. So I'm gonna label this. I'm gonna label it sex toys. And I'm going to make my dad carry it and see if he knows this is not, in fact, full of sex toys. It's just full of towels, but I want him to think I'm a whole bit of it and see what it does.
one. Hey, y'all get that one. Somebody else get that one. Yeah, it's hot in here. That's probably because I'm in here. Ha ha ha. You got it, babe. This is the whole bed. This is my bed right now. The entire bed? That's a frame. Ah, that's crazy. Carly brought us all food, replenishment. Nothing like a little good old pain for your move out, move in day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just good, I know. I'm over it. All right, this is all we have left. Just a couple of breakable things that are gonna go in cars. That's pretty much it. We got the truck pretty much fully loaded up. We got the mattress going in. Man, it's only been like maybe an hour and a half, but it's moving really, really quickly. So this is, a, this is awesome. All right, we got the mattress all the way up. Let's seal it off. No. Oh. All right, the van's packed up. The cars are packed up. And we're all ready to go. We got two hours and then we're moving it all in. Woohoo! Well guys, it's the end of a chapter. I started this morning graduating college and I ended moving out of mine and Bailey's first apartment together. Um, it's a little bit bittersweet for sure. Um, it's kind of crazy to think that I've already been here for three years and now it's just over. There's so much uncertainty and unknown with what's coming next, so I really don't know. But yeah, this is a goodbye to the apartment. <laughs> While this apartment was a great place for kind of a starting marriage, it's not forever, that's for sure. That's a wrap. Okay, now we're moving in. Same day. Trying to get is this your bathroom right here? Stuff, yeah. Figured out where stuff is going in an already house full of furniture. It's sort of gonna be a puzzle game to figure out where everything and you can go. Have we haven't lived together in a year or I know. Our isn't the same anymore. Yeah, we have two homes worth of furniture to try and fit yeah. in one house. <laughs> anyway, come look at the truck because <laughs> that's really moving. Okay, room's getting put together. It's coming along. I can tell you one thing. This is a mood right here. I don't think I've ever been more tired in my life. Actually, yes I have. That's being a little dramatic, but still. Also, did I forget to mention to y'all, I started my period this morning. Seriously? on move out and move in and ASUS graduation day, please. Now we're starting to put the kitchen stuff away. It's like a never ending day. Okay, you guys, that is a wrap. We are officially fully moved in. Everything is in the house. Now we just kind of have to get it organized, settled, but oh man, world's longest day, but it's over and done. Yay.